Hey, guess what? Um, the neat thing about cameras, if you'll notice something, like this new Fuji is a 24 megapixel camera. The new Canon M5 uh, mirrorless is a 24 megapixel crop camera. The Nikon D7100 and D7200 are 24 megapixel crop camera. There's some Canon, I forget which crop model it is, it's a 24 megapixel camera. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now let's talk about, uh, yeah, make note of that. Yeah, okay, we made note of that. There are all these crop sensor cameras, like new ones. This one just rolled out. There are 24 megapixels. Mmm, what's important about that? Ooh. Okay, now let's go to the Canon 5DSR. That's a 50 megapixel camera, or 50.1. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's let's understand something important here. What have we done? Why are all these different cameras and camera manufacturers? They've all got DX crop sensors, and they're all like, eee! that's the speed limit. Ah, that's it. That's what we reached. Why are they not like 25 megapixels and some of them are 26? No, they're all 24. They're all right here. 24. We reached the ceiling. What is that ceiling? The ceiling is the pixel pitch relative to the dynamic range that can be captured with a given aperture, with a given shutter speed. What that means is that they could use like the pixel density from like a, a cell phone, an iPhone or something like that, but it would have really bad dynamic range. The, uh, the actual pixel pitch on the new uh, Fuji X-T2 is 3.93 micrometers pixel pitch. But guess what else? And this is why all the top YouTube photographers don't know what the hell they're talking about. Like the Canon 5DSR, the pixel pitch on it is basically the same thing. It's 4.14. Okay, 3.93 versus 4.14. Now, our, obviously, there are, now a camera is not a sensor, okay? There are 80 converters. That's in our firmware. This is why, like, the Nikon D700 has radically different output than the Nikon D3. But they both got the same sensor. D7100, D7200, exact same sensor, different output, okay? Same thing with the X-Pro2 and the Fuji X-T2. They have the exact same sensor, but they do have different output. Different processing, different AD converter, different SNR firmware algorithms that processes out noise, okay, and renders the image differently. So a camera is an image sensor. Uh, image, excuse me, a camera is an image processor. It's never a, uh, a, uh, a sensor. So why are all these crop sensor cameras sitting at uh, basically 4 micrometers pixel pitch? Why are they all 24 megapixels? Because... Yeah, Sony's making most of the sensors. The reason being is that while we've had improvements and radical variations on micro lenses that sit over top of sensors, we've had backlit sensors and all sorts of little tiny nuances, the fact is is that given a certain aperture with a certain shutter speed, ISO has nothing to do with exposure, by the way. ISO is input gain. The reason for that is, is this, this is the ceiling with current uh, silicon technology of the actual sensors and the camera now, you can make it smaller, but you're going to sacrifice the dynamic range. Someone, says, someone could say, well, oh, great, this new 35 megapixel crop sensor camera is, uh, you know, it's 35 megapixels, but the dynamic range sucks. You know, the shadow detail is lost. You know, it's just like, if you're going to shoot in any contrast uh, uh, rated scenario, the shadow details in such a camera with a, such a sensor would be gone. Wouldn't it be, it'd be bad. And so that is why the new Fuji, the Canon D7100, the Can, the, I mean the Nikon D7100, Nikon D7200, uh, the Canon, the new Canon M5, um, all these various cameras with crop sensors, they're all rocking the ceiling at 24 megapixels, because that is the limitation of sufficient dynamic range. You know, I have this neat little application here on my computer that shows you what the dynamic range of stuff is. And I'm going to camera profiles here. And I just recently profiled the Fuji X-T2. And uh, here it is right here. This is a... Now, they were able to scrape out uh, a half a stop better specular uh, clipping point. See, this is the dynamic range profile which is uh, yeah, 6.8 stops of dynamic range. Actually, it's a little bit more than that, but those are the clipping points. It actually extends a little further under, a little further above, but those are the safeguard limits. It's the rubber bumper, if you will. And uh, that's it. 
That is because regardless of the 80 converters, regardless of the SNR firmware, regardless of the processing speed, this is the basic current <laughs> ceiling of sensor technology with crop sensors. Uh, that that is basically four micrometers. 3.93 on the X-T2, 4.14 on the Canon 5DSR. Guess what the difference is? Here's the other difference. I mentioned this in another video. What's the difference between um, a, uh, a f micro four-thirds camera with a, a thousand photosites per square centimeter, which is not a real number, or a thousand uh, photosites on a crop sensor camera per square centimeter, or a thousand photosites on a full-frame sensor per square centimeter, or a medium format digital sensor with a thousand photosites per square centimeter. What is the difference in the informational data per square centimeter of all of those sensors, from micro four-thirds all the way up to uh, up to uh, digital medium format? The answer is there is no difference. If there's a thousand per square centimeter on each one, then it's the exact same translational information. Exact. Exact same. Now, processing and everything can change things, obviously so. And what definitely changes is the fact that that larger sensor doesn't have to be enlarged as much for a print. Okay, we know that, duh. Anyway, so that is the reason why, and people have been asking me this question, why are all these new crop sensor cameras, Fuji, Canon, Nikon, all, Sony... Why are all these crop sensor cameras rocking basically 24 megapixels? That's the reason, because that is the ceiling for sufficient, uh, likable. You know, you can make it bigger, but people go, the dynamic range on this camera sucks. It's high megapixel. It's like really high. It's like a 35 megapixel instead of a 24, but the dynamic range would suck. You could stick more information in there, but you'd be limited on shooting only flash photography or shooting only bright lit scenes and uh, like high contrast scenes would be a big no-no like you got someone's face lit and over here there's a dark shadow it's like all the shadow detail would be gone there'd be there'd be nothing there to save <laughs> so this is the reason 24 megapixels to have sufficient dynamic range is the <laughs> that's the ceiling of current silicon sensor technology that's facts undeniable like it don't like it don't care that's it jack thanks for watching if you like this video you can send me a big fat juicy pizza i'm just kidding no i'm not i'm not kidding at all i'm never kidding about pizza and pizza that's some serious stuff to me man <laughs> Bye.